Okay, welcome to NJRocks.TV. I'll be your host, Jeff Turo, and we're with the R&B show. show. The R&B show with Rocky, Luana, and Billy. How you guys doing? Okay. Welcome Good to the show. Thank Thanks you. for showing up. Thanks you guys drove a long way today, haven't you? Yes, it is. You know, Brooklyn, where'd you come from, Luana? Oh, um, today I came from New York. <laughs> New York? See, Manhattan? Manhattan. You're out Brooklyn. of Long Island, right? Yep. You're out of Long Island today. Both places. It took you a long time to get here. Traffic was awesome. Yeah. Uh, Terrible. Was awesome. Worked right. every minute. <laughs> we had both New York and New Jersey traffic. What was going on today? It's Tuesday. We have no idea. Yeah. Probably the day after the holiday. Everybody going This isn't the government shutdown thing, is it? <laughs> mm -mm. No. <laughs> right? No. <laughs> Should be no tolls, right? I think it's the after Columbus Day rush. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Right. See, I don't leave the studio. No. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on out there. So, uh, how'd you guys meet? Why don't we start off with that? How'd you guys start out? Well, we met actually years and years ago. We um, knew each other years ago. Yes, we, and then we reconnected about. Two years now, almost. Mm -hmm. It'll be two years in January. Two years in January, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. we, we reconnected. These two guys have been singing together for several years. Then you started. Uh, Rocky and Billy started the R&B show. Mm -hmm. That's where R&B came from. Right? It is. And previous to that, the, we were something else. There was a, a Italian gentleman who used to sing with us. He was little. He was. <laughs> he only went this high. He specifically <laughs> was, but that. That was nothing to us. We went to go out to eat, and the place was running karaoke, and that gentleman was running it. His name was Richard Zuccarelli. Okay. And we went up to sing, and Rocky sang, and I sang, and he asked if he could sing with us. And we stood him in between the two of us, and he said, do you mind if I introduce us as Oreo? And so nice. that's cool. we became Oreo with him standing between the two of us. Is that a, a real band or you just did the karaoke? Um, we did Oreo. exactly did what you we did. Did you as Oreo? Absolutely. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I like it. It was great. We loved it. It was a wonderful idea. And then he got married. And <laughs> that wrecks we, everything, does it? <laughs> well, it no, we, we literally <laughs> said at our last show, right. and that's the way the cookie crumbles. Ah. <laughs> and then he moved to Minneapolis with his wife. And then it just left the R. He got dipped in uh, milk and then it <laughs> fell apart, right? Yes. Is that yes. what that is? That's, That's what, exactly happened, what happened, right? The Oreo got dipped in milk and it just like disintegrated. Yes. And it left the We're R. We're not saying who milk is. No. Okay. No. She's yeah. great. She is. <laughs> we both know her. She's wonderful. Oh, okay. I'm sure. It left the R and the B. R and B? Yeah. So we have the R and B show. That was it. And so they were going strong for a while and then we reconnected and one night they remembered Tina that I did Tina and they invited me to come up and do it and I did and then we just sort of you do a great Tina and she a great Diana. Diana thanks yeah it was at a wedding and the woman said make sure you play proud Mary my father loves Tina Turner and we remembered and we said well, why don't we just bring, bring Tina, Tina Turner, Turner right. and that's how how are you guys going to do dance? It would be a very ugly <laughs> <laughs> Who's wearing the wig? <laughs> I have a vocally, but I don't have a look. So. <laughs> no. No. That must have been something else. So, so you do weddings? Lots of things. Lots of weddings, mm -hmm. right? Weddings where it's at, right? Um, there are a lot of weddings. There are a lot of private events, tons of anniversaries. We right. have an event this Thursday that um, for some corporation, they have something that they're throwing on Thursday. So there's a lot of um, events that we have that are just individual people's private parties. And so that's some of what we got. That's where money is, when they bring in your bank. You know, well, you know you would, people with a couple nickels to rub together, right? <laughs> it depends um, on who's hiring us. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, would you have an agent? No. Oh, okay. Word, Word of mouth. mouth. <laughs> Word of mouth. Okay. So, you're doing pretty good. That's the best. If you're making it on Word of Mouth without advertising, without an agent, you must be good. We also have our day job, so we don't have to rely on this. So, when we do it, we do it because we're loving 
doing it. And I think most artists do. They most, do it because they love it. Yeah, we're not burnt out on it because we have day jobs. Right. It's not too much pressure. No. Right. And you go out for fun. That's right. Cool. We have we have a sound that people appreciate. We uh, advertise from Motown to Yotown. And by doing that, we start our shows out soft, mellow, like the dinner crowds. And as they finish eating, yeah, they move it into up, a, a build up. up. The energy and builds. They get to enjoy themselves just as much as we do. We have our dream girl who walks around <laughs> and she takes the request. Mingle. Mingle a little Mingles while, you're, takes while you're performing. Take requests. Oh, and okay, Billy plays great. the request while they're waiting to get up and dance. And then the show starts and it's nonstop. Nice. Right. The beauty of technology, she walks around as uh, the golden girl. She's dressed in gold and she takes requests and she's text messaging them to me and I'm interweaving them in, in into our show um, as their request before we begin singing so they have their That's a nice them. little touch. It is. It is because it puts them into the show. It, it allows them to be a part of it. And mm -hmm. they now have become They're connected. In the show. Yeah, absolutely. They come in connected to this character who we've just introduced, and so now it's easy for them to love her like just as much as we do. So it's a really each party is a custom show. Oh yeah. yeah. Yes. The, each party is a unique show. One hundred percent for that party for the people and their taste and their energy level. Exactly. I don't even know what a seventy-year-old softball league is. But we're doing their party, and they email us what they want to have played, and I find all the songs in that era that they'll love, and they're going to have their party according to their taste. So, um, it, you, I'm not going to say DJ, but you, uh, a lot of DJs do that. They they take the request of everybody. I've been on my weddings, mm -hmm. and but they just sit back there and they're just you know you know making sure they're lined up and mixed together as they, you know, go on. But you guys are getting out there performing. I love that. There, there's a, like, I can say one great uh, DJ performer. Mm -hmm. Most of them are DJs. Right. But there's, I know, I'm not going to say his name, but uh, he's a local guy and, and he gets out there and performs. He has somebody that makes sure everything's working and he's communicating back and forth to the DJ through the microphone, not text messaging, mm -hmm. but he's got it in his head what he wants to play. And they work together back and forth like this. But you guys go beyond that. Mm -hmm. And you're out in the crowd going, you know, working the crowd, and there's three of you, not two of you. Right? And, and one thing I've, that's one a, thing I've It's a like. show. Yes, it it's is. It's an R&B show. It's not a, yeah. we're going to play music for it. No. Right. And the, like show is, the show is different every time. What I love about working with these guys is that it's a lot, a lot of spontaneity because right. um, oftentimes Billy, Billy has a great sense for the crowd. Mm -hmm. And even though the, um, sometimes at per private events they might have certain things, it's never exactly lined up. No, it's custom. So he'll fill the crowd out right. and sometimes Rocky and I don't even know what we're going to be singing until we hear the intro music. <laughs> and we're like... <laughs> That's a little improv. Yes. It is. And we, we I, honestly, and, and but it, it always works. It always fits. Billy feels them out. And he'll like, okay, and he'll play the music. And we're like, one time I had to slide across the floor. <laughs> I slid across the ground the mic. <laughs> so, you know, it's, but it's fun. And, and I think because we enjoy each other, I think the audience yeah. sort of picks up on that. Speaking of the audience, we have a lot of fun with the audience too because there's times when we'll hear people singing and as we're singing our song their lips are moving with us we will give them the microphone right. and let them enjoy yeah, our sense it out. as well. We yeah. can tell the sound and, and that they will be able to, to do that part and it allows them to become part of the show. Do you hear them singing? You yes. see their lips going yes. but you hear it and, and yes. maybe they're a little off yeah. key or anything and, and, and you zone in on the one that we oh, this one will be funny. We know good and well only one you know. We just then I'll just pull the fader down just a little bit so that they don't ruin it for everybody, but so that they can still enjoy themselves. Again, custom. Yeah, it's customized. Yeah, that, I it's haven't fun. seen too. I've done a lot of weddings, and I haven't seen that show. I've seen bands and mm -hmm. and DJ band mixes, but there's only one. Um, like I said, 
that was a true mm -hmm. master of ceremonies that came out there. He didn't touch any electronics. He, no. he worked the crowd, <laughs> just, and okay. they were the best. Mm -hmm. yes. the, the DJs just sit back there, you know, okay, everybody, get up and dance. Right. Crickets, crickets, crickets. <laughs> it's like, I'm going like this sometimes. <laughs> But sometimes you have to have to remind us. Well, we just go sit down, you know, mm -hmm. and wait for you. <laughs> there are times when you have to remind us that we are doing the show and that we do sing because once the atmosphere is going and they're dancing and they're having fun, we allow them to enjoy them to do that. Right, right. And then you have to slowly put on something that they like, but that will also get them seated without having. I I never tell them to sit down. I just play something that I know they will. Mm -hmm. I slow them down so they can eat. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, you've got to be careful because they'll get up and start slow dancing. Uh, well, the ones they want to, they want to. That's I right. that steak, you know. I'm going to grab and squeeze my wife here. That's right. Every right. right. once in a while they'll bring it back. Some people would rather do that. That's yeah. right. Exactly. And that's the, the, that's the show. Right. That's it. Pretty good. I like it. I, I, you guys performed here. I'm going to... Say one of the great performances on NJRocks.tv. I loved it. Thank you. 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 Yes, they were. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate that. Uh, I appreciate you guys coming down and driving so long. It, it took you how many hours to get here? Well, I left work at 4 15. I had about 4 8. So almost four hours, yes. right? Coming to the Holland Tunnel was fun. That's amazing. As we said, when we hit Jersey traffic, it was It's fun. only 40 miles. Less than 40 miles. <laughs> right. And ladies and gentlemen, we, we live in New Jersey. <laughs> we're just working there. We are part of the New Jersey rock people. We're okay. just coming from New York. It was just okay. so crazy. Very good. Uh, and look at there. Look. Come on in. Be right with you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna wrap it up and thanks for coming in thank rocky you. luana and billy thank, thank you so much the r&b show yes sir and their information is right up here and um they can contact you if they want you to perform at their wedding or event appreciate it. we would love that okay. we'd love to do it and, and thanks for watching TV. see you next time This has been an NJRocks.tv presentation, darling.